I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. A hot proposition where you can lose. Since you muscled in on my bulletproof heart, what a gangland war you started. I thought that I was taking you for a ride. But boom, oh, you got me, Bonnie, right in the clyde. So give me half your action. I'll wind up in traction or in the sea and seaman's shoes. Oh, baby, that's my offer. My final offer. That's an offer that you can't refuse. I'll sign a contract. That's an offer that you can't refuse. But I'm not telling anyone, because I read the story about the goose that laid the golden egg, and I know what happened to her. I'm no fool, no sorry. Well, somebody laid that egg. If nobody's going to take credit, I guess I might as well. I did it. Impossible. Well, I did it. I did did it. And all by myself, too. Worth an unlimited fortune to own. Gentlemen of this organization, they realize what this message that this current of communication conveys to us. What the chief is saying is, are any of you mental giants capable of putting two and two together and forming a conclusion? Yeah! Two and two is four! I got it, boss! If we got the goose, we got the millions! You have made a decipherment. You see, that's what the chief means. We got ourselves the goose that lays golden eggs. We got it made. We don't have to work no more. We have eggs for breakfast, eggs for lunch, eggs for dinner. We have egg snacks. We make egg omelets, egg nogs, eggs benedict, hard-boiled eggs, soft-boiled eggs. Shut up. The boss is simply trying to convey a message to you, Louie. Hey, shut up. Shut up. Oh, yeah, shut up, yeah. Uh, the chief wants me to stop talking about eggs, because you see, the chief already knows about eggs. He's smart. Nobody is smarter than the chief. And when he says shut up, I always shut up. Make him shut up, shut him up. <laughs> That's a good trick you got there, chief. <laughs> you sure you are. Okay, now I will set a course to south by southwest converging onto Highway 222. There you make a left which will disengorge us to wit to the farm on which that goose that lays eggs of precious metal reside. In other words, make a left. Okay, Chief. What did I do? Where y'all taking me? What's up? I got an offer you can't refuse. apartment is just for little old me. Ooh I feel like a Liza Doolittle in my fair lady. Turn on the TV set and bring me a tall ice cream soda. And don't forget the cherry on top with the whipped cream. Okay, punk. Get off that couch and get on that nest and start laying eggs. Lay a egg? Why, you see, I, I just, uh, oh, I, I just don't feel like it today. You see, I have a small headache. You got a big one now. Get on that nest. Yes, sir. Now start laying eggs. Lay an egg? I can't lay egg. I'm not a goose. I'm a gander. I gotta get out of here. I wanna see the golden egg. He's giving you five minutes to produce the fruit of the fowl. Five minutes? Oh, a minute. Uh, tell the silly goose. 
if he's losing time. One minute. Okay, time's up. Where's the egg? I don't see no egg. Lay that egg or your goose is cooked. But, 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 but I, I, I can't lay eggs. Goodbye, goosey goosey gander. A golden egg? It does. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich. Oh, give him his orders. Okay, chicken, fill him up. Oh, my aching back. <laughs>